and I'm just watching across a, a village here, uh, looking at a, an operation that's just been going on in the last few hours. Well, this was uh, effectively a resupply operation, which is uh, uh, never easy out here in, in Afghanistan, where up to about uh, 30 trucks or so have to um, um, get their, their, their lorry loads through uh, to our headquarters uh, so that we can uh, uh, survive logistically. The convoy's got everything we need, really, to survive up here, all the food, ammunition, water, mail, all the welfare supplies. And our role, basically, is to provide overwatch we're looking for any threats to the convoy ensuring that it can travel through the area safely resupply us and then get back to base without any casualties well where we are at the moment is on, we're basically on the top of a hill looking at looking down to a, a, a village that's got that root grain through it we've got no running water it's, it's the water is rationed so the one big thing that i miss is a nice shower hot shower every day so that's one big thing I'm missing at the moment. So. If you'd like to follow me, I'll show you our living accommodation. The first place we've come to is our kitchen. As you can see, it's very basic. We tend to live while we're out here off 24 hour ration packs, which are basically boiling the bags. Being territorials, I'm very fortunate in my section. I have two soldiers who are chefs in Civvy Street, so they help to add a little bit to the taste. Very basic cooker to carry out um, all these tasks on. From here, if you like to follow me, we'll go to the sleeping accommodation. Next, we'll come to our living accommodation. As you can see, it's quite basic, no mattresses or quilts for us. This is where we live when we're not working, which is most of the time. If you'd like to follow me next, I'll show you our toilet facilities. Right, the first thing we come to is our urinal system or as the desert roses, as they're known to as the soldiers, which is very basic, it's basically a pipe in the ground. On the way in we have to go through an area which is known for uh, IED emplacement. Uh, we successfully cleared that entire route, uh, clearing two large IEDs. Uh, we also used the ANA, the Afghan National Army, to clear through a village which uh, is not occupied by Taliban. In fact, the, the villagers are very sympathetic towards uh, the Afghan National Army, uh, but the Taliban used the village uh, as a hiding place to go and place at IEDs. Uh, that was cleared by the Afghan National Forces, uh, and uh, we overwatched the area from, uh, from an observation post where uh, members of uh, 12 platoon, uh, 3 Royal Anglian, uh, were based. Uh, they're a TA platoon. Um, they've, uh, they're out here with us attached for the entire tour. Uh, they successfully made sure that uh, their part of the route was uh, safely conducted. Our job was an overwatch and ensure that the route was clear um, so that they safely got to their destination, which I'm glad to say um, all went well. <laughs> 